Hello and welcome back to the crafty room. This is your girl Dee and today we have a Christmas craft that I'm going to attempt for the very first time. And yeah, I'm a little nervous. I'm going to do kind of, uh, it's not an acrylic pour, but I kind of want to get the same kind of, sim or at least similar result as an acrylic pour. So basically I have these little wood ornaments that I got off of Amazon, of course, because you know I love my Amazon. And the idea is to pour these paints kind of on my parchment paper and then, whoops, <laughs> and then take my little wooden ornament and kind of dip it in and see what kind of a result I get. I'm gonna do, how many do I have here? I have two, four, I have five. I do have many more, but um, I'm gonna do five for this video, and if it works well, I might do more, but we'll see. So I'm gonna do one side with you guys. Uh, I might speed it up in areas just to, uh, you know, keep the video at a reasonable length. And then I will do the backs at another time. And um, yeah, so I've chosen <laughs> the colors. This is Apple Barrel Acrylic Paint. It is a matte acrylic paint and it's quick drying. And it is palm leaf. Then we have, from the same company, we have uh, Laguna. And we have, of course, white. And this is just from, uh, I don't know, did I get this at the dollar store? I might have even gotten this at the dollar store. This is just, uh, you know, a plain white that I'm gonna mix. I think I already said that, but you know what I mean. I'm nervous, guys, I'm nervous. Never done this before, but I'm so excited. Now, the reason I've chosen green and the blue uh, is because this year I've switched up my Christmas tree colors to have a little bit of blue, more of a bluish white theme to it. And I'll have to show you guys, um, maybe at some point I'll put a little picture up in the corner somewhere. And yeah, you can check it out. And then the white just kind of breaks everything up. And of course, white is very pretty for winter theme because of course it gives you that vibe of snow. And again, it is good for breaking up these other two colors. So I'm just gonna go for it. Wish me luck. I'm gonna get a little messy, I know that. So I have my paper towel nearby. And I have a little bit of a water bottle going on. And yeah, let's just let's just do it. Now I watched a video on YouTube kind of showing me the idea, but I kind of, you know, I don't know. I, I don't think there's any really strong rammer reason. So we're just gonna do some like little blotches here and there. About around the size of the ornament. And we're just gonna go for it. We are just gonna go for it, just like that. And yeah, fingers crossed this will turn out well. I think acrylic pour painting is amazing. I have not tried that yet either, but I sure hope to. I wonder if I use, I'm gonna use a toothpick here, because I'm just gonna swirl this up just slightly. I don't know if I should or not, but I just feel like I want to, you know, just kind of give a start to a marble effect. Interesting. Well, it's like, oh, there's a hair in it. Look at my hair is falling everywhere. <laughs> Long hair will have shedding. Okay, so let's try this first one. Hopefully I will get all of this ornament in the little paint pile here and we'll just go. Push. Oh, we squished. And now I'm gonna pick it up. Move it down slightly so I can get the top piece done as well. And let's see what we have. Ooh, that's pretty. That is pretty. I'm gonna pop this little air bubble. Actually, I'm gonna use this toothpick instead of my finger. There we go. Oh, that is gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna have to leave this over here to dry overnight. And then we'll take a look together in the morning. Hopefully it'll be dry. <gasps> but that is so pretty. Did you see that? That's gorgeous. Okay, so I think I'm good enough to just continue with this. Now it is pretty thick on the ornament. So I don't know if when like overnight 
Uh, time span will really allow it to dry properly, but we'll try. But either way, you will see it when it's dry and we will do like a final talk about it. And we're gonna go in with the second one. Okay, I'm gonna do it this way because it is just gonna fit the little shape here we have going on. Okay, oof. <laughs> and what do we have? Oh my goodness, this is so cool. And as you can see, it's really not that difficult. Okay, we have a little drip here. I'm just gonna go like that, and I'm gonna lay that there. Now what happens is eventually, of course, your little pile of paint gets, um, well, you know, messed up. You're gonna need to replenish bits and pieces, so to speak, of your paint. And yeah, this is fun. Oh my goodness. What is making you blob? I don't know if there's no way I have a hair. Is there a hair? There is a hair. How is there a hair inside of this? That's kind of creepy. I'm gonna get another piece of paper towel. All right. Now if this goes as nice and smoothly as it seems to be, we might not have to speed any of this up. This is going pretty quick, isn't it? Okay, we are doing good. I think we are ready for some white paint now. Yeah, okay, so let's see what we get with our next ornament. I wonder if we we'll probably get some more white because of the way I laid it. Not sure. Let's see. Oh, 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 that didn't come out all the way. I'm sorry, I should have showed you, but I was afraid of it really getting ruined. All the wood was not quite covered. You can see I still have a spot there. Okay, I'm gonna. Drop that, so that's okay, because what I'm gonna do is use my toothpick to kind of move some of the paint here, because there's quite a bit. It's a thick, thick layer of paint. But that is so pretty. Oh my goodness, I love the more um, white sections in there. So that is very, very cool. Let's just do it again and see what we get. So this is something easily done. I will put the listing with the price of these little wood ornament shapes that I got off of Amazon. And oh yeah, look at that, that's so cool. Oh, I'm so glad I did this. I was nervous as I said, but I'm so glad I went for it. This is cool. Um, the wood ornaments, I don't know how many came in this pack. Just one second. I'm gonna show you here. It's, uh, huh. It does, oh, 30 pieces, okay, 30 pieces. And I don't think it was definitely, I don't believe it was more than $20, so, you know, it's pretty good. If you want a little DIY to do on your own or with someone, then this is, as you can see, it's not that hard. You get a really cool abstract um, result. And, oops, I should probably let that go down here, okay. And yeah, how much fun is that? And you choose whatever colors you want. You probably obviously could do more than uh, just the three colors. That would be up to you, but you wouldn't want to do too many um, because you don't want it to end up looking muddy. Mm, I'm gonna add a little more white here, hang on. Okay, and here we go. <laughs> and yes look at that that's so cool so cool love it everything is unique oh i'm done well i'm gonna grab another bunch i am not finished i mean i wasn't sure oh and it comes also sorry with some nice like twine to hang up your ornaments on your tree so let's take another little pile here and let's just keep going for a mountain here Go again. What do we get? Oh yes, so pretty. Okay, I will add a little more paint. So yeah, let's just uh, speed this up. We'll finish up this little pile and then I'm gonna let them dry.
Okay, so I now have 10, but I want to do 12, so we're going to do two more together. And yeah, I love this. Again, you could go crazy and do whatever colors you want. You could do, goodness, you even do like golds and silvers, of course. Uh, you can go the complete opposite way, do black and gold, like, you know, tuxedo style kind of stuff. Um, just whatever you want. I mean, your imagination is, you know, your limit. So this is really, really cool. How cool is that? Easy peasy craft. And what you could do too, and I'm not sure if I will do this, but uh, you could definitely um, like do maybe a Mod Podge over it to seal it in or some sort of varnish and it would give it a bit of a glow. My paints are of course matte, except for the white. So that might be something good. Oh my goodness, did you see that? <laughs> Messy girl. Uh, yeah, so interesting. And uh, I might do it, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But I can't wait to do the other side too. Here we go. One. Oh no, I didn't get the, the, oh, I didn't do the, uh, the top part didn't get much. Let's hope I didn't mess that. Oh no, we're good, we're good. That is so cool. How awesome is this? Okay. And our last one, so we have a dozen. There we go. Cool. Okay. So, there you go. Nice, quick, and easy, yet very effective and beautiful craft. You could even, after the fact, paint over with a slight clear um, paint, perhaps. I don't know, maybe that would disrupt this pen. I'm not sure, but I uh, wonder if there's a way you could even put glitter. You could even put glitter in this paint and then do it that way. Gosh, there's just so many things you could do. So I'm gonna let this dry. I'll come back <laughs> when it is dry. And I'll hang out with you guys. Of course, it'll just be a second for you. And then we'll um, take a look at that. And I will also hang them on my tree. And we'll take a look at that too. All right, back in a moment. Okay, everyone. Well, I am done. And it took several days. But that is because I also painted the other side. So... Of course, the one side needed about 24 hours to dry, and so did the other side. And then, and then, 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 I sealed them with a varnish coat. So, or a coat of varnish, I guess is a better way of saying <laughs> But you know what I mean. And that way, I can have these guys last a lot longer than they would, I believe, with that one. And yeah, look at that. I'm so pleased with how they are looking and how they turned out. I do hope that uh, if you get a chance to give it a try that you do. Look at them. They're so pretty, right? So what I'm going to go do now is take my twine that came with this set and hang them on the tree. And I'm going to take you with me once I've got them hung on the tree so we can take a look and wrap up this video. Be right back. Okay, everyone, see that? That's one ornament on the tree, and I have more. Now, I think the colors I chose works well with what I have going on already here on the tree. What do you think? And that's how my tree looks this year. A little blue action going on for the first time for me. I really am enjoying it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, say hi in the comments below, and if you want to help me get to 500 subscribers, which I'm getting closer and closer to, please consider subscribing, and until next time, take care of yourselves and others, stay crafty, stay tuned for many more advent calendars, and I'll see you guys in the next video.